Welcome back. It's time for Data Points. I want to reflect on the status of the public debt in the country, specifically the domestic debt. But we begin by looking at the global figure of the public debt, which is currently at 10.27 trillion shillings. That is the total. But out of that, the domestic debt is currently standing at 5.4 trillion shillings. It has gone up from 4.8 trillion shillings in, um, uh, in, in June of uh, 2023 should be that, that. The external debt currently stands at 5.15 trillion shillings, up uh, fr uh, down from 5.4 trillion shillings, and that is why the total is standing at 10.56 trillion shillings, and the domestic uh, debt has grown by 578 billion shillings in a span of one year. Now, let's talk about um, the expenditure on debt. This is to talk about the interest that has been paid. In the financial year 2023-2024, the government borrowed up to 596 billion shillings which was in form of government securities. And out of that, uh, there, was, there were interest that was paid again, like I indicated, 622 billion shillings. Compare that to the foreign borrowing, which the government uh, got disbursement of up to 760 billion shillings from the external sources. And out of that, the interest that was paid was 218 billion shillings. So you can see uh, that you borrow more from the external market. The interest is not as high. The interest expenditure is not as high as within the domestic market. Let's take a look at something else uh, that um, has to do with the external loan disbursements. Again, uh, 760 billion shillings was received. The repayments were 537 billion shillings, meaning uh, that uh, part of what was received was used to repay those loans, and therefore the net uh, foreign financing was at 222 billion shillings. That's significant because it tells you uh, that uh, we're also borrowing to pay a few loans, uh, the net effect that is. Again, looking at the net domestic financing, out of uh, 543 billion shillings, that is the amount that is the net, uh, but um, there was net external financing of 222.7 billion shillings, meaning that in the financial year 2023-2024, the net financing, uh, that is the borrowing that was essentially servicing or financing the budget, was 766.4 billion shillings. Let's take a look at something else. This is to do with the government securities. Remember I told you that out of the domestic debt, a part of it goes to treasury bills, uh, the other goes to treasury bonds bonds, but 12%, 12.45% is the treasury uh, bills. This, uh, this is short form uh, or short term uh, borrowing. Um, it could be 91 day bonds, it, uh, bills rather. It could be 182 day or 364 day uh, treasury bills. For the treasury bonds, which are uh, a period longer than that, we are talking about 4.7 trillion shillings, which accounts for 87.55%. Uh, and eventually you end at the total figure of 5.4 uh, trillion shillings in the domestic debt. Let's take a look at uh, something else that you need to know. Who owns this debt of 5.4 trillion shillings? The banking institutions in the country account for 44.7%. These are institutions that have either bought treasury bills or treasury bonds at the Central Bank of Kenya. The pension funds in the country have a, um, a stake of 29.23%, meaning uh, that the excess resources in the pension funds is what is being used uh, to buy treasury bills and treasury bonds. For the insurance companies, they take care of 7.2%. Parastatals, meaning government institutions which are financed by government um, uh, funds or revenue in form of taxpayers' money, they also invest the excess resources uh, to buy these treasury bills and bonds up to 5.28%. And other investors, including individuals, we are talking about some 13.53%. So what does this mean eventually? You are talking about the interest rate. Remember I told you that the expenditure, interest expenditure is 622 billion shillings. So the 91-day treasury bills are currently averaging at a rate of 15.7%. This is a short-term a short loan that has to be repaid after the 91 days. And for the 182-day treasury bills, or if you like six months, we are talking about 16.6%. For the 364-day treasury bills, which is one one year, we're talking about 16.8% on average. But if you to talk about the treasury bonds, they attract a higher rate of between 17 and 18%. Contrast that to external borrowing, because you're talking about euro bond yields, as reported by the Central Bank of Kenya, were accounting up to 10.10% percent to 11 percent in terms of the yield rate and you can compare that against the domestic market and realize that the domestic borrowing is more expensive so essentially we are talking about just a reminder that 
based on all those interests, eventually the government spends 622.5 billion shillings uh, to pay the interest on those domestic loans and external market, 218 billion shillings is the interest that was spent by the government uh, to finance uh, that which was borrowed from the external market, coming to a total of 840.7 billion shillings as an expenditure on interest. And that is a data point uh, for this week on the state of the domestic borrowing.